Hi guys, welcome back to my channel and today I'm bringing you this look and this is a, uh, I guess a navy, cool toned look. Um, I still think it's quite autumnal. Uh, I've gone for um, sort of a navy and a silver look on the eye and a really cool toned nude lip. Nude lip. Um, and I have used the Sleek Eye Lust Rockstars collection. The only shadow, actually, two shadows I used from it today are this one and this one. I've actually almost used all of them. I'm gonna use these two tomorrow. Um, I really am enjoying this. I'm finding it a really good palette. A little tip though is use your fingers. You'll see through the tutorial what I did. Um, so I've used my makeup basket today, but I wanted to bring you something that was more sort of going out, but like going out for, not just not like a party, but just something a little bit more special. Um, so I did a bit of a spotlight eye and um, I'm really pleased with the outcome. I really, really enjoy it. Absolutely loving this highlight today, but, um, and you'll see which one I use in the tutorial. Anyway, I don't wanna to ramble too long, but thank you so, so much for watching. Of course, give it a thumbs up if you're enjoying it. I have tried to clear up behind me a bit. As you know, we are still decorating at the moment, so it's gonna be a bit messy for a little while, so my apologies for that. Um, if you're enjoying my videos, please give them a thumbs up, comment down below, and it would be great if you could subscribe. I really would like to, increase my subscriber numbers i think it'd just be so great if we could get a big community together love the comments always respond um and i look forward to you in the next one bye guys so i have started with the ps primer water which i absolutely love and it was a bargain and i'm also going to be using the ps bb cream because it's fantastic as a base for foundation i'm using the tarte rainforest of the sea this foundation I've really been enjoying, but I only enjoy it when I use a beauty blender. Um, I find that it's quite demi-matte, and usually I like a dewy finish, and I think that the beauty blender gives me that to finish. I think the next thing that I use, yes, that's right, it's the George at Asda Concealer. This is a really lovely, thick consistency. It covers and it also gives me the colour under the eye, which I think is quite nice. So I just use my Beauty Blender to blend all that in, as you can see. <laughs> and something in my eye there as well, which is grim. And then I'm going to use the Hourglass Ambient Lighting Powder in Diffused Light. This is my favourite setting powder. I use the Wilco's brush to dab it into the face rather than sweep it on the face. I'm then going to be using a Makeup Geek contour shade and this is for porcelain skin and it's a cool toned contour shade. Um, I always think that my contour looks so patchy on camera but when in real life it really doesn't look as bad. Maybe it Maybe it does, but it doesn't on photographs either. It's just only when I'm recording that it looks a bit mental. The next product I'm using, I'm so happy about. I love this. And it is the MAC uh, Nutcracker Sweet Peach Compact. And it's got a blush and a highlighter. Um, the highlighter, I remember the name, but not the blush. Uh, the highlighter's called Tutu. I wish I could remember the blush name. I'll list it down below. I'm just using my Zoeva brush for the highlight. Just look at it, oh my gosh. It's so beautiful. I'll just sweep it on the end of my nose and on my Cupid's bow as well. Next up is the Peaches and Cream Eyeshadow Primer. You guys know I love this. It is my holy grail. It's thin enough to um, not be too gunky, but it's also sticky enough to stay on the eyelids and keep eyeshadow on, which is what it needs to be. I'm then using the Wet n Wild Brulee Matte Eyeshadow. It's a single eyeshadow, and I like to sweep that from the crease upwards to the brown bone. It just helps for me to lay down a crease colour, to be honest. I find it a lot easier when I put that down first, although I try to keep my lids without it. And then I'm going to be taking the two blush shades, they're quite peachy blushes, you'll see I'm pointing to them now, from my Makeup Geek palette. 
and I like to use those because I haven't got them um, a palette with crease shades in at the moment so I like to use those as crease shades when I'm doing my looks from the basket and then I'm also going to be using the other Makeup Geek shadow uh, to deepen up the crease slightly you will notice that I'm actually using a warmer crease shade but I am going to be using the navy blue out of this palette this is the sleek eye lust hidden gems palette which is exclusive i believe it's exclusive to Superdrug, and there is also an exclusive one for boots which i haven't got so i've just taken this on my fingers i've just found that using my fingers for these eyeshadows is better it gives you a bit more intensity with the color and then i'm going to use a real techniques brush just to blend that out but not take away the color I love this colour, it's stunning. I'm now going to take the silver. I mean, come on, blue and silver, it's not very autumnal, but I thought it'd be different. And I'm just taking a little bit on my finger and then placing it on the centre of the lid just to give it that spotlight effect. I'm also going to be taking a, a brush to um, go underneath the eye and into the lash line. And I'm just taking the two contour shades out of my palette and popping them under the eye. Next up is the Marc Jacobs Mascara. It's just a sample that I received. I love it. And I'm growing more fond of it every time I use it as well. It's one of those, it's a grower. When I first used it, I didn't feel like it did anything at all. But as you can see, as I'm applying it now, it just seems to make my lashes fluffy and long and lengthened. And I can even use it on the bottom lashes. I just think my eyelashes look so pretty using that mascara. Next up, I'm using the P.S. Love Rosewood Mauve Lip Liner. This was a pound, and it's a beautifully soft lip liner. I really do like these, and it's a perfect match for the lipstick that I'm going to use. Well, it's not even a lipstick, the liquid lipstick, as you'll be able to see. I'm just going to take the gorgeous NARS Bound Lipstick liquid lipstick it's the velvet lip glide I just did a video recently you will have seen about all of them and this is my favorite and it's a stunning nude color goes perfectly well with cool toned looks and that is it that is the look complete I hope you've enjoyed the video and of course subscribe if you haven't already and comment down below and give it a thumbs up because bye guys they are so similar so I will give you a swatch on the hand as well and I'll also talk about the formula afterwards and sort of my thoughts